Welcome to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Before you head off guys, if you wouldn't mind, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment and hit the subscribe button. It really does help the channel. Don't forget that you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. All those links are down below, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself or learn tarot with me through my immersive learn tarot journey. I am wishing you so much love and magic for the week ahead. Let's get across to your reading. Libra, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for October 4th to the 10th. Hope you're doing really well, Libra. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. Then going to move to the Moon Child Tarot before heading to the Rider right Waite and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot positions. First one out, Libra. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan, so this is about trusting in the divine plan for your life, but also understanding that the divine plan does not necessarily mean an easy plan and understanding that the challenges that we navigate in life are there for our growth towards self-actualization, soul evolution, right? So you could be, you know, navigating through a karmic contract or something like that right now. There might be a new foundation being laid for you. It's a beautiful energy, trusting the path, trusting the plan. And I've got no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. If you are, you know, about to make a big decision, trying to decide maybe whether to take that job, whether to buy that house or go into that investment, the cards are saying maybe just wait a little bit longer. There could be some information to come through, something new you're going to learn about it that might influence your decision in some way. So that is for some of you. Well, let's go to the Moonchild Tarot. All right, one card. We have got the Three of Cups. Okay, well, this is actually an, a, a really beautiful energy of joy generally, you know. Um, it can mean that you might be celebrating something soon, you know. You might be moving into a time of harmony. It can also be a card of the seeds that you have planted, right, or that you are planting now, right, laying foundations, planting new seeds, meaning the things that you are beginning now really hold the promise of delivering in the next season. Now, the next spiritual season might be in a couple of months. It might be next year for you. So that's what the Three of Cups represents for me, the fruits of your labors. Let's see where this is going, Libra. Bringing in the energy of the recent past, energies leaving, completing, transitioning, if this is your reading. Nine of Wands. Current or focus energy for you. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. I like that energy. We will see what the clarifiers are as well. Three of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of Pentacles energy here. Seven of Swords over here. And this could be what that No card is representing. You know, there could be just somebody in the mix here that doesn't have your best interests at heart. Just be mindful of that this week. Okay, I've got, oh, I've got the tower, okay. Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. The Devil. <laughs> Three of Pentacles again. Five of Wands, okay, the moon over here. Yeah, so we do have this energy of between the moon, the Seven of Wands, and the devil. There is a kind of an illusionary energy here. You know, maybe you have been dealing with someone who doesn't have your best interests at heart here. Um, I can see that you are really ready to go in a new direction, to plant new seeds and all of that. And I guess the advice is just to make sure that you have all of the facts, the figures, the data, and everything in clarity before you move in with that. Now, some of you have been through a tower moment and maybe that's where the rebuild is, the tower, the devil, the nine of wands. So this would indicate that before the tower fell, there was a period of struggle, a prolonged period of struggle. 
Now, this is a general reading, guys, and I do read them generally. This could have been in a relationship, and this could have been in your work. We do have a lot of pentacles energy here, which can be about our stability, our security. It can be to do with money. So I feel like you kind of knew that things were on shaky ground. The nine of wands can really be that fight, flight, or freeze, that kind of walking on eggshells um, energy. Um, that's what I'm kind of feeling that you were in. And there came a point that the tower fell. Together with the devil here, there could have been a sense of uh, codependency, self-imposed bondage. I think that's maybe why you hung in there, maybe why you weathered the storm so much in this situation, right? Why you didn't kind of free yourself. But it got to a point where the tower has fallen anyway. So the tower moments normally come in when we ignore the signs and fight for or, or stay in a situation that's not really meant for us, that really needs to, to come to an end. So that's what I'm feeling has happened here. The tower has fallen, meaning the relationship has ended, the job's come to an end or something like that. And it's time to, to rebuild and to make future plans from that. That's what I'm sensing. Yeah, and it could be that that Ten of Pentacles actually represents the, the, the 10, the completion of the job, the debt situation or the home situation is what I'm really feeling here. So with the devil, you know, there is a sense of uh, illusionary energy or dealing with somebody who, I'm just looking at the moon energy here, which is often for me about somebody who is, has two sides, two faces, isn't completely honest, somebody who was harboring secrets. It could have been one of those secrets that, were, that was revealed. That was the final, um, the final trigger that brought the tower down. Now, what you don't realize now, Libra, is that this is a this is a blessing in disguise for you, right? Because this wasn't meant for you or not in alignment anymore. You'd outgrown it in some way. It's a blessing in disguise because the seeds that you're planting now are going to lead to a whole new type of success for you. And as we mentioned, you know, you are laying new foundations. You're being asked to trust in the divine plan. You're working through this karmic contract right now. So that's what I'm sensing here. And it now it makes sense that... In the current focus energy, I've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Libra, this is your minor arcana, the Queen of Swords. This is bringing you into your power. It really is. Now, you're also seeing very clearly, and you're being asked to trust that vision that you have in your mind's eye, your intuition. You know, you really are a truth seeker. I, I think that there could be truths coming out in this situation as well. That, you know, you might be seeing things for exactly what they are. One thing is, is really for, for sure here, Libra. This ending is now behind you and you are looking ahead to the rebuild here. I feel like that person, the other person involved or other parties that, that might have been that devil energy is still hanging around and might be trying to manipulate the situation in some way. So you're going to need to keep that laser focus for that in case they try and meddle for it with it. Five of Wands here. Be very careful where you're spending your energy in the situation. The Five of Wands can, for me as a reader, indicate burnout where we're kind of trying to fight to, to keep others happy or or keep the peace in a situation um, just be very mindful of that so you are most definitely making future plans here Libra the two of wands for me is about okay well this situation is final it's crumbled I now need to find my next thing I really need to to move forward and move on so the two of wands is you um, making the plans and choosing the, the forward path. Now, for some of you, you are seeking a new job. For some of you, are seeking a new home here. And it's going to be really important for you to reach out to your networks, really communicate with people around you because an opportunity could come through that. Be mindful of this person, this energy, this sneaky energy that is uh, following you around. Make sure that you are really clear on any contracts that you're signing or any people that you are trusting because the Seven of Swords can really be, you know, maybe that person from the past coming into meddle in some way. 
But there is a real sense of a year of you broadening your broadening your horizons. And if you do choose wisely, really being able to, to manifest something that you have been dreaming of for a while, when you were in that struggle, you know, you were dreaming, you were scheming, you were hoping for something different, and that something different now has the opportunity to, to play out for you. The Three of Cups is that promise of the seeds that you plant now, Libra, are the ones that are going to become solid, that are going to, to flourish for you. So just make sure that you are planting them in the right direction. Some of you might be, as a result of this new beginning, you might be um, you know, going back to study, to learn, uh, to become an apprentice, or that kind of thing. The Three of Pentacles really can uh, indicate that. But ultimately, you are becoming the architect of your own life. You are becoming the architect of rebuild after the tower has fallen in some way. So keep the forward vision. Keep trusting your intuition. Keep truth seeking. Be mindful of the people that are operating around you. And keep in mind that that no oracle card is saying it's not a week to maybe sign the contract or to make big bold moves because there could be more to see. There could be more truth to be revealed. And it's got something to do with somebody who maybe is not operating uh, completely in your best interests. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it gave you some insight for the way forward. Keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective and may or may not be for you. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Libra, it's been a pleasure to read your cards. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.